Hey everybody, got another Chris Reeve here. If you read the title, you know what it is. Call it the Niala, Niala, whatever they're going to pronounce it as. I think it's Niala. I believe it's named after the game species in Africa that's known pretty much for its antlers having the twist to them and the grooves. It's a very, very attractive animal. I want to hunt one one day if I can ever get over there. Not sure how they taste, but since they hop around like deer, I imagine they taste like deer, which is all right by me. Uh, got my Carta handles on here, brown. I've never been a big micarta fan. There's nothing wrong with it. I just like G10 better because I believe it's going to resist oils and stains and other things better than micarta is. They're not really far apart, but they are. The handle is very well done. There's kind of a swell and it gets a little fat at the back so when you're grabbing your little finger feels like it's holding on to as much as the forefinger because it can get around further. Very well done. I like the scallops at the front. Give you somewhere to hang on to if you're just doing a little work or delicate work, holding the blade. It's not a big old chunk and then an abrupt end, which makes it uncomfortable to hold the knife there. You have to transition from handle to tang to blade. It's very nice. It's a little bit pointy in the back for me on the corners here, but it's not a big deal. It has a standard rounded spine that Chris Reeve has on almost every knife, except for I believe the Um Num Zan that's out right now. That's more flat with chamfered edges. It's very well done, very well done. The fit and finish is absolutely Chris Reeve perfect. Every the height of the grinds, where they end and start, the swedge, everything is exactly the same from one side to the other, and it's perfect. The horizontal, we'll call them grooves, really aid in keeping the knife from twisting when you're using it. You have very good traction. And honestly, the knife almost has too aggressive of a grip between these cuts, these, and the jimping on the top and the bottom. I could see getting a hot spot from it from long, long use in one day. But basically, if I'm whittling while waiting for some deer to show up and then gutting a deer, it's really not that long work. And I don't think it's so bad that it would hurt most people, especially the type that would be out there hunting and whittling. I think your hands would be tough enough. But if your hands are tender, you might want to wear gloves with it. For the rest of you, I think it's just fine. I'm not a fan of the brown. Maybe one day I'll see if I can find some custom scales. I, see a, I saw a guy on Blade Forums who had some carbon fiber put on his he had made, and they were just really nice. And maybe I'll contact the maker who did that for him. This is one single piece of S35VN, full tank construction. It's touted as a super steel. It's crucible powdered steel. I... I didn't like it at first. I've grown to like it on a few knives that I have. I haven't used this one enough to see how it'll hold up, but I've chopped some cardboard and some heavy duty cardboard with it. I've, I've done some dinners with it and the geometry of the grind, the steel and the edge that were on here when I got it from the guy who I bought it from have all led this knife to cut exceptionally well. I'd almost hung up a little in the cardboard where it got to the flat of the grind because it is a pretty thick piece of steel but it still kept cutting just fine. It's enough knife for about anything and not too much knife for about anything for my needs. One thing I really like is where your finger rests at the front has been well rounded with all edges, all sharp edges removed even on the back of the corner here which is usually not done on most knives even custom knives and it's very comfortable all the way up in it or back on the handle a little. Unlike my uh, other fixed blades that I go to most of the time for outdoor stuff, my Rat and Essie knives, you, know, you gotta give those guys credit for the price and the steel and the heat treat, they're almost indestructible, but the handle's always just a little too short. I'm not a monstrous guy, but I wear an extra large glove and it has enough that if I'm up on the knife comfortably, not jamming my hand into it, I still have handle sticking out and I'm still on the scales. Very comfortable. Thumb rests on the scallop in this grip. That grip. There's always enough knife and not too much. <clears throat> I'm fond of it. It's a good looking knife. It's a little heavy, but you get what you pay for. I'm just curious to see how the uh, stainless steel, the S35BN, holds up as compared to my high carbon knives. Came with a good feller's case maker sheath. 
as every fixed blade I've ever owned from Chris Reeve has. It's nice. Knife goes in and out easy enough, in deep enough that it shouldn't fall out, but I'm not really a leather sheath kind of guy, no matter how good they're made. So, uh, always pulls out some leather with it too, which bugs me. The guy I bought it from on the forum, he offered it for sale with a Kydex sheath. So, it was new when I got it, more or less. I'm sure it had been in and out of the sheath a couple times. The knife had been used very little. He had it as uh, pretty much new in box condition, and from the sides of the knife and everything, I could tell it just been used a touch, and... Uh, Sharpened a little, I could tell by the edge, not much. And it didn't matter to me because I bought it to be a user and it was sharp as hell when I got it. So whoever sharpened it, good job. I just knocked the wire edge off it on a ceramic rod and it's been pretty scary. The sheath is a little tight, starting to make some rub marks on the blade. But I really don't care. I plan on using the knife and if I ever get upset with it, I just send it into CRK, have it refurbished and then move it along the way. I saw it had a tech lock on it in the pictures on the sale ad, and when it showed up without the tech lock, I called the guy, or I sent the guy a message like, hey, I thought I had a tech lock, man, what's going on? And he informed me that I'm an idiot, and uh, if I had read further down the post, it said the tech lock wasn't included. So I apologized, and he sent it to me anyways. So if you're out there watching this because you miss your knife, thank you. Thank you very much. He sent it without hardware was the only issue isn't an issue. I ran up to Lowe's. I was able to find some of these pins. They just don't carry them in black. They're just plain aluminum. And uh, came with the aluminum bolt that goes in them. I bought a couple light washers, put it together, and then just hit it with a marker. As you can tell, I missed a little bit. It's on the sheath. I really don't care. Like I said, it's going to be a user. So that took care of the tech lock, the mounting not having to use the leather sheath and the fit is so tight on here that I know that knife's never coming out. I'm not worried about water getting on the leather sitting on the blade. It does have a drain hole at the back. It is stainless. This should hold up to my hunting needs without a ton of maintenance and although it is a little difficult to remove, it has to be pulled perfectly straight. The micarta handles are removable if I feel like I've got some goo between them while gutting deer or field dressing any other animal. Although I think there's tape and scales so I really don't think anything's getting in there and they are perfectly flush. It's just a good scrubbing should take care of it. It's a very nice knife. I can't wait for deer season. It's gonna be a hard one with my father gone. It'll be the first time I've hunted without him or a season without him since I was 10. 28 years of hunting together every chance we could get. Hopefully he'll be there to tell me where to shoot so I can try this knife out. Anyways, everybody thanks for watching. Another great CRK that I don't plan on selling. Hope you're all taking care of each other. Stay safe. And if you're the guy that sold me that knife, thank you.